Hi, I'm Payam from Payam Data Recovery. I'd like to give you an example about a real life case that we had in our office today. Um, a customer sent us this hard drive and they reported to us that they had an iPhone 7 that they actually dropped on the floor, the screen broke, and uh, they had Apple Care protection to get a replacement phone from Apple. Um, it all sounded pretty straightforward. Um, my customer told me that she actually um, got advice from Apple to back up all the data on the phone before bringing it to the Apple store to get a replacement phone. So she did that. Um, unfortunately, she wasn't paying for the iCloud service. Um, so she decided to use the free option of using the Apple iTunes software and backing up all the data from her iPhone 7 onto her computer, uh, which is one of the options in iTunes where you can back up to your computer. And and uh, she said that it took about 45 minutes um, and it looked like it worked and it said the iTunes backup was complete. And uh, so the next day she took the phone to Apple, got a replacement, and she took the new phone back home to plug into the computer to use iTunes to restore the backup to the replacement phone. Um, unfortunately, uh, she got a variety of different error messages each time she tried about the backup being um, corrupted, the backup being incomplete, um, that there was no backup. Uh, she got different messages. Uh, she did some troubleshooting with Apple over the phone and live chat and remote assistance. Eventually she kind of um, couldn't get it to work uh, even though Apple gave her lots of good suggestions and different ideas. Um, so eventually she was told that the backup was either incomplete or corrupted and that there was no way to recover the data. Um, her husband was an IT support guy and he actually tried to find some software and tools to actually uh, repair the backup or use it and he gave up, he couldn't find anything useful um, and, and she came to us. Um, the good news is um, from the little portable hard drive she gave us, um, she made a copy of the complete, um, or she created, she copied the folder from her computer that iTunes created with the backup and she copied onto the portable hard drive and she brought it to us. Um, now, the good news is we were able to recover all the data that was in the iTunes backup. She had thousands of photos of a newborn baby and, and a little kid, kind of, uh, I guess, first few months of life that she was really upset about. Um, I think there was at least five or 6,000 photos on there and a couple of, um, maybe a couple of hundred video files. I managed to get all the videos and the photos back. I thought I'd let you know, if you have a similar issue, don't give up. Um, if you've got the iTunes backup uh, folder, um, basically just find it on your computer. There's usually a direct, uh, directory or a path where it's actually stored. Um, copy it onto a portable hard drive, send it to us. There's a good chance we'll get it back. Um, this reminds me of one of the reasons why this actually happens. Um, it personally happened to me about two years ago. My wife had an iPhone 6S and my kids dropped it on the floor, the screen cracked, and we had the exact same issue. Um, I thought I'd let you know that what I found in my particular case, um, I found out that I was backing up to my computer and my computer had a small SSD in there and the SSD ran out of space and the, the computer basically had no free space to, to complete the backup. But the iTunes software actually looked like it completed. It sort of said, you know, backup complete. I think it was 11.40 p.m. in my case. I still remember, you know, I still say, oh, I'm sure it worked and I remember it worked and then I re replaced the phone for my wife through Apple Care, um, through an Apple Store, which were great. Um, and then I got back home and I couldn't use the backup either and it just kept giving me error message saying, you have have no backup or this is not a backup uh, but I sat there and I watched it and it was working um, so if you had a similar issue and and, um, and you are not able to use the iTunes backup you've created um, we can help with that the cost is $450 Australian dollars including GST uh, we'll get all your data back um, if we're not successful or the data is not useful we don't charge you anything we don't ask for any payment up front we only charge you if it works so um, just like this particular happy customer that we're just about to email now and say good news we recovered all your photos and videos um, don't give up anything's possible um, and if it hadn't happened to me a few years ago I never would have found a solution for this because at the time there was no sort of software or tools that could actually help in this particular case so if you know anyone that's actually had a similar problem and they've lost their data after trying to make a backup of their phone, um, give us a call. We'd love to help. Thanks.